the first thing we're going to do here is go into our inbound menu structure where we've previously set up our menu items. We have two different menu items that we've set up, one to just receive and build our license plate, and the second to receive and generate and process the put-away work. We're just going to be focusing on the receiving aspect today. The first thing the system is going to prompt us for is a license plate to build on. If your device is equipped with a camera, we can go ahead and scan a barcode here, or we can just click and enter in our license plate. Because our menu item is set up with a source document line identification of purchase order line, it's now going to prompt us for a purchase order. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing where we can scan it, or we can enter in our purchase order manually. We have purchase order 100 here. Again, as I said, because our source document line identification is set to purchase order line, it's going to ask us for the line number we're receiving against. Here, by clicking on it, we can bring up a keypad. We'll go ahead and enter in line number one and hit OK. The system sees that line number one does have an image associated to the product. These are our six foot HDMI cables. That image will show up here if there's one available. The system is now asking us for a quantity. This line has 10 units on it, and we're going to be receiving all 10 units. We can use the radio buttons here to increase the quantity, or we can click on this to bring up the keypad again. Now it's asking for us for the units. If there is multiple units available for this product, it would come up here as a dropdown. But for now, we're just going to say OK on pieces. And with that, we've already received the first line. The menu in the upper right hand corner gives us a few options here. We can at this point complete our license plate, which we're not done yet with yet, so we will not do that. We can show a list of what we've built so far. We can also change the purchase order number that we're receiving against. For now, let's look at the list of what we've built so far. As you can see, there is only a single line. We've received 10 pieces of item A0001, which is our six foot HDMI cables. We'll say OK for now and let's continue to receive. On this purchase order, we have an additional line of 12 foot HDMI cables of 10 units each. Let's go ahead and receive that line. This item, as you can see, does not have an image associated to it, but you can always upload one. Same thing with our quantity. We have 10 units, they're in pieces, and that has been added. At this point, we need to change our purchase order to another uh, vendor. So we're going to go ahead and do that and go to our menu up in the upper right. And we're going to go ahead and change our purchase order. The system brings us back to the purchase order number, where we can scan it, or we can enter it in manually. Same process here. It's going to prompt us for the line number. And on this purchase order, we have the same items, 10 units each and we'll go ahead and receive those. Pieces is okay. Line number two. Quantity again is 10. At this point, we have now received everything off of our two purchase orders. We can go ahead and take a look at the list that we've built so far. And we can see that we have four different lines, 10 units each, of the are 6-foot HDMI cables and 12-foot HDMI cables from two different purchase orders. From this, the menu has changed where we can actually modify some of these lines if need be. We don't need to do that at this point. Now at this point, we can go ahead and complete our license plate and get this ready for put away. It will bring the list up one more time for us to review. We'll say this is OK. And with this, the put-away work has been generated, where you can use your normal put-away work menu item to process. Hopefully this has been a good look into the mixed license plate receiving functionality, and thank you for watching.